Hello and welcome to Photoshop Fundamentals, a video training series brought to you by 3dbuzz.com. Over the next series of videos, my goal is to introduce you to Photoshop using Photoshop CS5. I want to mention early on that if you're using a different version of Photoshop, you will generally be just fine as most of the techniques and theories that I'll be discussing here have been with Photoshop for years and years. However, there are a lot of features that really only popped up over the last couple of versions and a couple of things here and there which are native specifically to CS5. Now, with that said, I want to talk a bit about the types of things you're going to be seeing. The first thing I want to walk you through once the videos actually get started is the Photoshop workspace or user interface. Photoshop has a highly intuitive and extremely user-friendly, customizable user interface, and I want to get you comfortable and familiar with that straight out of the gate. Now, I'm not going to be going over every button, knob, switch, dial, and checkbox in the user interface when we first get started. I'd lose track of them all anyway. There's, there's far too many of them. It's more important for me uh, to show you kind of generally what you're going to find in each part of the interface so that once you know what it is you want to do, you know generally what direction your eyes need to cut to find whatever it is you're looking for. Now from there we're going to talk a bit about getting started with using the software, the basics of creating a document and some of the settings that go into that. We're going to talk a lot about navigating your documents and getting around, zooming, panning, ways to get from one pixel to another. We're going to be going into a lot of the tools that you'll be using commonly with Photoshop, uh, including things like the Move tool, the Paintbrush tool, and even painting in Photoshop as a technique. A lot of the different things you can keep in mind when using your Paintbrush we're going to talk about layers, we're going to talk about channels, we're going to talk about paths, adjustments, we're going to talk about uh, layer effects and layer styles, lots of things we're going to be covering as we move forward. Now, who is this video series for? Ideally, this is for somebody who has always wanted to know more about Photoshop, but has maybe found themselves a little bit daunted or intimidated by Photoshop and has never really become attuned to it. However, even if you are familiar with the software, I like to think that by watching this you will pick up at least the occasional tidbit here and there that maybe you didn't already know and could really speed up your workflow. Now I'm going to be dividing these videos up in such a way that I prevent them from becoming overly lengthy. Now some of them will get a little bit long and uh, most of the time that's just because I lose track of time while I'm talking. But I am going to try to bust these up and make these into a convenient reference for you to watch. You don't necessarily have to watch all of these videos in the order in which they're presented. If you see a topic heading that you think is interesting, by all means jump to that topic heading first and get that in tune and then kind of jump back to something else. I have done everything I can to make sure that the videos are fairly modular, but you will have to understand that there are several aspects of Photoshop which kind of build off of each other, so I will talk about uh, various uh, principles and techniques that may have been referenced in a prior video. So when you run into that, if it kind of frustrates you and you find yourself having to back up to another video to completely get uh, in tune with what it is I'm talking about, uh, just go with it because it will make you better in the long run. Now, I think that's everything I really need to uh, to cover here in this video. Again, my goal here is just to kind of introduce you to the series and give you an idea of what it is you're in store for. We have a lot of different things to cover, and we're really going to be taking a look at several different aspects of Photoshop. Once I get done with the uh, the technical parts of it and walk you through several of the more commonly used tools so that you can see how they work and how they behave, I will take a, a few videos and just show you some of my favorite techniques for performing very specific tasks in Photoshop. And the reason I'm so excited about doing that is that, that at that point, I can keep adding videos to this whenever I like. So if I come up with a new trick in Photoshop, I can just drop it onto the end of this video series and say, hey, here's something else that I stumbled across or uh, that I commonly do and maybe take for granted that I think really might come in handy for you. So that's it. Uh, with that, I am really excited to get started. I welcome you to the Photoshop Fundamental Series, and let's get rolling.